All right, everybody, welcome to graphics. All right, today I'm going to show you how to create a dust jacket on Google Drawing. Okay, um, now the, the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna show you the whole how to make a dust jacket itself, but more just the layout and how to get yourself started. All right, here we go. So first I'm gonna to go to Google Drawing, right? Here I am on Google Drawing, and I'm going to come over here to File, and go down to Page Setup, all right? Here at the Page Setup, I'm going to change the change it from standard, click this down arrow, and go to Custom. Now, if you've looked at the dust jacket before, it's pretty wide, right? And so we're gonna make this 20, by eight and a half. Okay, the width width needs to be 20. Okay, and then the height is eight and a half. And then I'm going to hit apply. Now you can see it is much bigger. Okay, uh, if I zoom out, I lose uh, the numbers on my ruler. If you don't have a ruler on the top and on the side, what you can do is you can come over here to view, all right, and then you go to show ruler. See right now I clicked it and it is off, so I'm gonna go to view, show ruler, and now I have a ruler, okay? So what um, I'm going to do now is make the guidelines to help section off the areas for the um, dust jacket. Right, so I'm going to come over here to the ruler on the side. I'm going to click and hold, right, and drag. And as I do that, it creates this line. And I really like that one thing Google does is you can see it adds the number of where you are. I want to be at three inches, okay? So it says right there, three inches, boom, it is at three inches. Now, one thing that I don't like that it does is I put that one line in and it gave me random lines. I don't want these other lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my mouse so that you see it change to this logo. I'm going to, oh, I missed. I'm going to click and hold while it is on there and drag it off of the page and that deletes it. And the same thing with this one. All right, now I'm going to zoom back in. All right, this is the inside flap for the back. Okay, so what I want now is the inside flap for the front. So that is, the other one is at three inches. So I need three inches from 20. So doing a little bit of basic math here, three minus 20 is 17. So I'm gonna move this one here to 17, okay? So now if I zoom out, you'll see that it is, they are pretty much the same, 100% the same, right? So next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom back in, okay? This is 20 inches wide. So half of 20, all right, I'm gonna make the spine now. So I need to find the middle. The middle is 10, half of 20 is 10, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click here, hold, and I'm going to put a line at nine and a half, and then another line at 10 and a half. Now that is the spine, okay? And now when you look at it, I have all my sections. I have all my areas right? Inside flap, front cover, spine, back cover, inside flap, right? So I'm just going to label these and write in them what you need to have in them, okay? All right, so this is inside flap. This needs to be, uh, this should be critic reviews, all right? Now I'm going to do this one. This is the front. front cover. What you need there is you need the title, you need the author, and you need a traced graphic. All right.
here this is the back cover here you need a different base graphic but they should be similar so that your dust jacket has some kind of unity it should be something based off of the book right different trace graphic and summary i'm always like i want to i want to say synopsis but at the same time i'm not always sure how to spell synopsis so i just go with summary because that's easy to spell right another text box here this is going to be the another inside flap And this should be about the author and authors. So, um, like I said before, you need to trace your graphics for the front cover and the back cover. But when it comes to about the author, if I mean, you can trace that and make that kind of like a, a trace or face project kind of tie-in. But you could also, if you're running low on time, just throw in a picture, a photo of the author. That's fine there. And lastly, we're going to do the spine. I'm going to write about the spine. But the interesting thing is I'm going to show you how to do the spine while I label what the spine is and what it does, right? So right here is the spine. Notice it's not in the right area right now, right? The spine needs the title and the author right that's what you need but notice like it's more horizontal and i kind of need this to be vertical so what do i do well it's pretty simple i can come over here to this circle that is right up here click and hold but then also hold shift when i hold shift when i go to move my cursor it rotates it every 15 degrees and that allows me to get it perfectly at 90 degrees or is if I didn't hold shift, I could be at like right now it's 56.3. Like to get it to line up to be perfectly 90 can be a little difficult, right? So if you hold shift, it makes it a lot easier. Now I'm going to continue to hold shift when I let go of the mouse. I still have shift held down. This is a good um, thing to do because then it won't accidentally, if you let go of shift and then move the mouse slightly, it might still kind of throw it off. So I, always hold down shift longer than I hold the mouse down when I'm rotating. Right. And so here is what you need to have for the um, mouse jacket, right? So, you know, you would just then go ahead and do it. You don't need to write these things that I wrote in here. Um, you know, you would actually go ahead and make your dust jacket. I wrote these in here to help you out so that you can see what it is, what goes where. Because it can be a little confusing, right? You're thinking about a book, right? You might think, oh, over here should be the front, over here would be the back. But it's it's kind of reverse way of, of thinking um, how to do it, okay? So that is everything. Good luck. Um, I am also, I'm, I'm putting this on YouTube, so you can come back and watch it. Uh, if you, you watch the video on YouTube, remember, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You'll get notifications when I post more videos. These videos, these videos are very helpful. So hit the like and subscribe button.